Hey y'all, my name is Tim Davis. I am a senior systems engineer for NSX at VMware. Um, I'm here to talk to you about certifications today. Um, as a quick thing for me, I currently hold three VCAs, three VCPs, two VCAPs, and a VCIX. Um, none of that really matters to me. All I want is my VCDX number. Um, and it's not if I'm going to get that number, it's when I'm getting it and what number it will be. Um, so we're going to go a little bit over some certification things of how you get there, what the different tracks are, what some requirements are. Let's take a look at our uh, certification paths here. So um, we've got the data center virtualization, cloud management and automation, network virtualization, and desktop and mobility. Um, each one of these is currently set up with the same track. You have your VCA exam. Uh, your VMware Certified Associate. This is an online unproctored exam that you can take at your house anytime you want. Um, then you move on to the VCP. Um, the VCP is actually a, a couple of exams. We'll go over that here in just a minute. Um, from there, you have the VCIX level. And this is actually composed of two different VCAP tests, the design and the deploy exam. From there, you then have the VCDX, or the VMware Certified Design Expert level. So with the VCP, it's actually a two exams now. You're gonna take the vSphere Foundations exam, and you're going to take the specific exam that goes for your track, like DTM, CMA, DCV, or NV. The vSphere Foundations exam, like I said, is taken online at home, it's unproctored, it's 90 minutes, um, it has a passing score of 300, and this is on a scale of 100 to 500. Um, let's see, and it is a single and multiple choice, so you're going to have some questions that are just single answer, and some questions that may say choose two, choose three. Um, on the choose two, choose three, you will get partial credit if you do answer some of those questions partially correct. So let's move on to the requirements for the VCP6 DCV. Um, with the VCP level exams, there is an educational requirement. So you need to take the, the install and configure and manage course or another course that fits into the requirements that you see here, such as the optimize and scale class. Um, in order to actually get issued that VCP certification, in your transcript you need the past test as well as that class. Um, once you get past that level, and as long as you don't let your VCP expire, which right now it's two years, then it will go ahead and let you take any other tests without any more educational requirements. So the VCP NV. Um, the NV track is for NSX at this current point in time. Um, and that actually has a couple of fast tracks. So for your CCNAs and CCNPs, you can skip the educational requirement and take that VCP and V exam without any extra educational requirements. If you are a CCIE, you can skip the VCP level altogether and go straight to the VCIX and V exam without taking any education courses or without having to go through the VCP level. Uh, VCP CMA, the, this is the exact same thing as the uh, VCP for data center virtualization. This is going to require your education. And then it's also going to require the two exams, the foundation and then the CMA test. DTM is the exact same as that. So recertifications. Um, a little while back here, VMware announced that they're going to make the VCPs expire, and this is every two years. Um, they gave some people some grace periods, and they created what they called a Delta exam, which is a cut-down version of the VCP that allows you to recertify without taking the, uh, the VCP exam with all of the questions. And it generally just has what's new between the versions. Um, so let's take a look. For the recertifications, the upgrade and migration path options. So for the VCP5 DCV going up through to the VCP6, you can either take the entire VCP6 DCV exam or you can just take that cut down delta exam. Um, for VCP NV to VCP6 NV, that's one of those ones that is automatically awarded. Because of the way that the versions came out and the timing on that, some things are auto-inherited. So for the VCIX NV, I took the old version of the VCIX NV and passed that, so I will auto-inherit the VCIX6 NV without having to take the new VC, uh, VCAP6 deploy exams. So what are they like? VCAs, they're completely unproctored. Like I said, you can take them at home. They're 60 to 90 minutes. Um, they're 120 bucks right now. 
Um, VCP, you take the foundations at home, and then you have to go to a testing center to take that proctored VCP exam. Um, and there's a whole bunch of different exam centers that you can use for this. Uh, for VCIX, so the, um, the development or the design exams, you can take at just about any testing center. Um, and that's going to be a mixture of drag and drop questions and then also a Visio style design tool that you're gonna need to answer some questions to and do a little bit of architecture. Um, the deploy exam needs to be done specifically right now at either a Pearson Center or one of the partners that they have on the list for that. Um, and that is a VPN into a live lab environment where they're giving you scenarios where you're going through and saying, this customer needs to do this or they're having this problem. And you actually have to go through and fix that in the live lab, at which point they'll run some scripts and do some scoring and give you the, uh, the output for the score. Now, the, uh, the holy grail of the uh, VCDX, this is not an exam. This is a trial by fire, <laughs> so I've seen. You are going through and creating a design document based off of the VCDX blueprint. Um, you are giving all of the risks, requirements, constraints for all of that project, at which point you have to submit this case and wait a couple of weeks for them to say, is this paper even good enough to go to step two? If you do get lucky enough, you get accepted for defense, at which point you have to stand up in front of a group of VCDX peers and defend your design. Why was this decision made? Is there a different decision you could have made? If you make this decision, or if you would have made a different one, how would it have affected the output of your design? Um, and really right now, I think there's 230 or so VCDXs out of everybody. Um, hopefully I can get in there really soon. Um, I'll be submitting within the next cycle here after December or January or whenever they open up. So beta exams, these, uh, I'll go over this really quickly. This gives you access to an exam before it goes GA. Um, for VCAP exams that are normally $400, the beta exams for those are only $100. You don't get your results right away, but it's a good way to get your foot in the door for a lot cheaper than a standard GA exam is gonna be. VMware Learning Zone, for $500, you get access to just about any training you could possibly want. Um, these classes do not count towards your VCP credit, um, but there is so much new stuff that comes out in there all the time, it's well worth it. Hands-on labs, if you're doing any form of VCAP, like a deploy exam, um, this is going to be the place that you need to go because it'll give you a live VPod that you can get into, you can work through it, you can break it. If you break it really bad, you can spin it up and start over. It gives you access to just about every product VMware has for free at any point in time from anywhere in the world that you have internet access. Certification Manager, this is a new thing that VMware's got where you can use their SSO from MyLearn and it gives you your transcripts of these are the classes you've taken, this is how you did, these are all the tests you've taken, and it also gives you access to all of your certifications. These are your you know, certificates where you can print a little PDF of what all you've got. Here's a little picture of it. Education services here at VMworld. Hands-on labs is one of the hugest things we have here. If you want to play with hands-on labs, go do it. They have self-paced labs. You can even sign up for proctored labs where they'll walk you step by step through the product and how you're setting it up and working with it. Um, VMware Education is uh, back there with their lounge where if you have certifications, you can get a nifty little pin to uh, signify I'm a professional, I'm an advanced professional, I'm a uh, implementation expert. If you want to learn more, here's a couple of links to get you where you want to go. And if anybody has any questions or anything, feel free to reach out to me on uh, Twitter at ALDTD um, or generally anybody with, you know, hashtag VCDX on Twitter. Um, most of them seem to be really nice about it. So have a great day.